He gone. Hook. One out. Now Mike Sosha thinks that that one was in the dirt. Ibar ran it to first base thinking that it hit the ground. Still, he didn't know what to do. Now fielding. As so she wants to talk to him again. That ball is in the dirt, and if Bill Culbert is saying that he did indeed tag him, well, that's one thing. Now, right there, it's hard to tell, but Ibar runs to first base knowing that the ball was in the dirt. Robin's not the happiest man in the park right now. I think what he's saying is look, Tyler was under the impression that you did call him out on the tag, and then obviously you can't run the first base after that. Now he points to him, meaning that he tagged him. He called him out. Yeah, I mean, he called him out. He believed that Tyler tagged him. He absolutely called him out. So are they going to have a a review? This thing can be overruled. Yep. It can be overruled. Yes, it can. Even though he called him out, it still can be overruled. It's the same thing as an umpire missing a call at first base or a second base or a third base. Right there. Well, Ibar did the right thing, which is complete the play regardless of what happens and let somebody else umpire the call. This is a very big review. Well, we had two options on the play and didn't do either one, really. No. The tag and or yep. the throw down. Yep. Understand it all year long on all the reviews that have been used in baseball. Yes. 48% have been overturned. That's surprising because the replay obviously you can slow it down and then slow it down even slower than the normal slow motion replay, and you got plenty of time to look at it from a number of different angles. Umpires have one angle to see it in real time. I'm surprised it's that high. I really am. As a rule, they went a long time there that we used to say that most of the time they're right. But the replays that we've seen this year, they're wrong most of the time. Well, this has taken a long time, as you would expect. Number one, it's a critical call. And number two, there has to be definitive proof. Again, the call on the field is that Ibar is out. Well, they've got a decision. And he's out. Here goes Sosha. Well, you said it. 
Definitive proof. Definitive that's, see, proof. that's the same thing as in the best interest of baseball. <laughs> you have to give yourself a bit of an out. You have to give some leeway on the that's call. Exactly, that's we're right. going to fall into the definitive proof definition of this one. So now Mike and Field and Culberth. Well, from Socia's standpoint, until he gets wrung out of this, what you're doing is you're allowing David Robertson to stand on the grass in the middle of the infield without throwing the baseball because your argument is in front of home plate. Now, Mike wants to take as long as he can because he wants to freeze David Robertson. Some of the greatest managers had some of their longest arguments when a real good pitcher for the opposing team was on the mound. Billy Martin was famous for that. Billy Martin was absolutely, for a long time, just about as good as it got. It was defining a manager. Now, Social's probably going to get wrung out of this, but he wants to spend as much time as possible. And if you're David Robertson, you've got to start throwing the baseball. You've got to make sure you're loose because you still have a guy up in C.J. Crone that can hit the ball out of the park. And I think Robin wants to get David's attention. Well, the argument over. David didn't throw a pitch. He must feel pretty good about it. 